Hey everybody, it's Brian Piercy. I'm the broker and owner of Real Estate Moto, an innovative real estate brokerage here in the Myrtle Beach area. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to talk to you today about kind of a simple concept that, that I talk through with our agents on a regular basis and that I, I probably have this conversation daily with the potential buyers in our market. So this is gonna, sort of gonna pertain to people that are, that are looking at our market from either like a second home or an investment um, perspective. So uh, while we certainly do all types of buyers and sellers, locals and out of town investment, this kind of, this concept, what I kind of refer to as sort of the two different sides of the spectrum for why people buy here in our market um, is going to really be more relatable to someone that again is looking at something from a, a second home or an investment purchase. So hopefully this is a good little tool whether you are a potential buyer yourself or um, nobody, anybody looking in this market, you can forward this to them. They can kind of think through this process and, um, and kind of see where they fit in the spectrum. And if you're an agent, this may be good for you to kind of learn this um, quick kind of, you know, again, comparison that you can then sit down, run through with one of your potential buyers, and it's gonna help you get to a point quicker with what they exactly want in our market. Like I said, I try to talk through this almost on a daily basis with our buyer agents as well. So here, here we go. So, for people that are buying in our market, again, think about this is our person from Charlotte or North Carolina or anywhere up the Northeast or wherever you know, our, our buyer base comes from. So normally they're gonna buy from, from one of two sides of, of this spectrum. So the one side is it is purely a, an investment play. So literally we have people that I don't care what or where it is, I just wanna buy something and after my expenses, after my management fees and HOA fees and taxes, I want it to rip off H, you know, X ROI, X return on my investment play. And I, we literally have clients like that that um, kind of literally have not even seen half of the properties they buy. They just say, okay, here's my equation. I want to invest X amount and, um, and I'm looking for a seven and 8% return, whatever it may be. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, the, the way other side of the spectrum is it is all a second home purchase so we've been coming to the beach for 20 years or we've been coming to this part of town north myrtle beach or myrtle beach or northern myrtle beach or kingston or wherever and that's that's where we want to be um you know coupled with that maybe they have a family that has two or three kids so we want three bedrooms and this is it's all a second home play um they're not going to rent it at all you know type of scenario so those people, you know, those are those are kind of the two drastically different sides of the spectrum. Kind of the pure investor client, um, again, just all about the numbers. The other side is it is it's all about a second home purchase. And most people are kind of somewhere in the middle. And so that's what your goal um, as, as a buyer or as a buyer's agent is to figure out where exactly you know that you as the client or you as the you know the buyer kind of fit in that in that spectrum. And I think the fur the, the 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 faster you can get to that point to realize where you fit in that side of it, the easier it is to find the right properties that match you know, what exactly you want. And I say that, it's kind of the, the funny thing in our market is a lot of people don't realize that from a, the best pure you know, price to income ratio properties are actually smaller units. It's studios, it's oceanfront little studios and one bedrooms that maybe don't fit what you need from a personal use standpoint. So hey, it's not, I need two bedrooms to accommodate my family but yet the studio is going to give you a better, you know, better return. Kind of one of the misconceptions is that a lot of times people will say, I want a two bedroom because it's going to bring in the most income. And while a two bedroom in a given building will certainly do more revenue than a one bedroom and a one bedroom, a lot of times will do more than a studio, the marginal jumps in income as you go up from a studio to a one or a one to a two, don't make up for the bigger jumps in price, condo fees, taxes, you know, and the like. So, the point of kind of putting on where you are in the spectrum is you realize that okay it's it's mostly investment but i want a little bit of personal use you know side to it so for that particular client of ours it's you know it's our our job to basically fit them into what matches what they need personal use wise um, and matches up as close as we can to the income side and so the biggest thing to realize from if you're the buyer, you know, for example, is that you're gonna sacrifice maybe a little on either side to kind of get something in that middle ground. So if that makes sense, where you may say, okay, you know, I'm okay um, going from a two bedroom to a one bedroom in a given building, 
knowing that I'm going to get more income or my cash flow is going to be better than, than it would be if you went with a two bedroom and vice versa. You may say, okay, I know the studio is going to be the best cash flow vehicle for me, but we're going to use it ourselves a couple weeks, a couple months of the year. I want to send my friends and my family. So I'm okay buying a one bedroom, knowing that I'm going to lose a little bit on the cash flow side of it as you, um, you know, as you move kind of further down this side of the spectrum. So that's it in a nutshell. You certainly can go, um, a lot more detailed, uh, but like I said, it's it's for me, it's a great analogy or a great kind of um, visualization that we do with our clients, with our agents, and we do it again with our with our buyers to kind of say where do you fit on that sliding scale, and then once we figure that out, we can figure you know the right property for you. I know everybody thinks there's so many properties in the market. When you really narrow down where you fit in that spectrum. Um, it really the, the market actually kind of you know finds itself uh, to you so it, it's not there's not quite as many properties that fit exactly where you are in that spectrum so that's uh that's it for today that is again it's what i call that kind of our two sides of the of the, the spectrum great visualization for you to do with your clients again if you're an agent to kind of help you help them figure out where they want to be with the property here in myrtle beach so thanks again it's brian piercy with real estate moto here in myrtle beach